Oh, there's like three snail boats there. Death charges! Oh, as long as you got the kill. Oh, nice, I got him. Death charges out, death charges out, death charges out. Die, 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 die. Nice, got the double kill. I'm wrecking you. Come on, guys. nice, we can do this. Yeah. It's alright, we're just being support. Chances are, by the time this video goes live, the closed beta test run for Boat Thunder has ended. Chances are also that you're going to save this video to your watch later list for you to just completely forget about it next time the um, CBT run starts. But maybe, just maybe, you're watching this exactly when the next CBT run starts. In any case, let's find out how to kill a boat. Naval combat in War Thunder is actually quite similar to the tank combat in its basics. You control a vehicle with damage models for crew and modules, and many of the guns are also similar. With the difference that instead of one big cannon, maybe one or two machine guns, your boat is just bristling with machine guns, low caliber automatic cannons and in some of the bigger ships, even proper big cannons. But that's not all. You also often get torpedoes, death charges, rockets, mortars, mines, heck, as a last resort you can even ram the enemy. But even with so many weapons at your disposal, people still seem to have a very hard time to actually take an enemy down. It just takes so long. Well, there are a couple of tricks. Let me run you through them. Firstly, the main way to kill a tank still works for boats as well, killing all of the crew. The difference being that the tank has somewhere between 3 to 6 crew packed tightly in an, in an enclosed space, whilst a boat can have dozens spread around a large volume. And whilst boats have virtually no armor, it's still going to take you a while to kill every single one of them, even with all of those guns. So what else can you do? Is there something like an ammo rack on tanks? Actually, there is. If the enemy happens to carry a torpedo in the tube and you hit it with HE, you can make it detonate and destroy the boat in the process. This is going to be very difficult to do, however, and quite rare. I, I went right into the middle of them. You just dropped torpedoes on me, Iron. <laughs> The torpedoes are getting awfully close! With that, the bridges hit oh, me! Geez. That was scary! Oh, they actually hit you for any damage. Me. Actually, wait, activate your tow hook, I'm, I'm gonna save you. Uh... No! It's no! The teammate! I lost the torpedo on the, pro on the 183 and the guy just. I was trying to jump! You. <laughs> You're a bastard! Speaking of torpedoes, they are amongst the most reliable way to take something down, if your boat happens to carry some. It can be a bit challenging hitting moving targets however, since they are rather slow and the enemy has more than enough time to evade them in most cases, especially if they are in small nimble vessels. There is a trick I like to do however. First, you have to try and immobilize the enemy boat. You can simply kill the captain, but the finger will just keep moving in circles, which makes it even harder to land a torpedo. Instead, you can aim for the rear half where the engines usually are. Take those down and he'll be a sitting duck for torpedoes. Most of the vessels that carry torpedoes also carry death charges. Now these have a limited blast radius and pretty much require you to face hug the enemy, uh, but they can be used as a drive-by weapon. In cases where you miss your torpedo but the enemy is still slow due to the engine damage, just drive right in front of him and drop some charges in their path. Now both the torpedo and the death charges are not guaranteed kills though. Center mass hits generally result in their death, but if you hit just the nose for example, this, they will still float. Finally, the single most reliable way to take down a boat is by destroying all of the sections. And this is where boats differ slightly from tanks. All boats seem to be divided into four sections. The bridge, the frontal hull, the middle hull and the back hull. If you can turn all three sections of the hull black, the boat will start sinking. Now this slightly follows a hit point system. Bigger boats are definitely more resistant to damage than the smaller ones and will require bigger caliber fire to effectively take down. So to summarize, I'm going to exemplify my favorite attack routine. From around 2 counters range, which seems to be around the max range at which your automatic cannon rounds despawn, I start firing at the deck crew. This is to disable the enemy guns and avoid taking too much damage from them. At the same time, I fire one of my torpedoes in their general direction. I'm not really hoping to hit here, uh, I just want them to force to turn and show me their broadside. 
As we get closer, I aim for their engine to disable them. Once that happens, I line up the second torpedo and watch them explode. Now, if that torpedo fails, generally the one I fired at the beginning of the engagement has already reloaded. And if it didn't, I just drive right beside them and, dro and drop some death charges. This can work against multiple enemies as well. Your main focus should always be to disable their guns. So as soon as you've disabled the gunners on one of the enemy boats, switch to the next one until they're all unable to return fire. Then you do the same thing with the engines, disabling them all. Then you can generally get two people with torpedoes and a third one with a death charge drive by. What about the big boats that don't have torpedoes? Well, those generally have high caliber cannons and that's really where their strength lies. Whilst MG and automatic cannon fire despawns at around 2km distance, your big cannon does not, and as such you can pummel them from long range with high explosive shells. Why high explosive? Wouldn't you use APHE? No, not really. Against the smaller boats, APHE is completely useless, since uh, they don't have enough armor to even trigger the fuse. So you're better off just firing high caliber HE at the deck crew to disable them and use your secondaries to kill the modules and the crew inside the hull. On the other hand, HE is absolutely devastating against them. APHE shells can have some use against the bigger boats, but generally even those don't have enough armor to trigger the fuse. So you're better off just firing high caliber HE at the deck crew to disable them and use your secondaries to kill the modules and the crew inside the hull. And that's mostly it. Now remember that boats are still in beta and things are subject to change, so I might have to update this video when they are finally fully released. But until then, this should give you a nice idea of what to do. If you found any of this helpful, do leave a like on this video to help it spread around. If you're new around here, check out my Blueprints playlist for more videos like these on War Thunder. But as always, my name's been Mike is Boom, and thank you for watching. You can lift your head up to the sky, take a deeper breath and give it time. You can walk the path among the lies, with your shattered frame of mind. Is that you could always stay, we can wait right here and play, until somehow you can find